Welcome to BMC's Control M Web Planning Domain video. In this video, you will learn about the Control M Web Planning Domain in Control M version 9018 and how to create, submit, and check in job flows. This video is intended for application developers. The Control M Web Planning Domain is part of Control M Web which includes archive and self-service in the monitoring domain and managed file transfer. In this video, we will focus on the planning domain. In many organizations, if an application developer needs a new job flow created or needs to modify an existing job flow, the developer requests the change using various applications, by writing an email, or by filling out a form. Using the Control M Web Planning Domain, which supports common browsers, application developers can open existing workspaces and modify job flows, create new workspaces and jobs, and view a job schedule. Once the work is complete, developers can either submit the changes to the scheduler or check in the workspace themselves directly to Control M. When changes are submitted to the scheduler, the scheduler reviews and takes ownership of the workspace. If no changes are needed, the scheduler checks in the workspace to Control M. If any changes are needed, the scheduler can write notes in the workspace and return the workspace back to the developer for further revisions. The web planning domain supports open integration with change management systems. For example, if your organization wants to track activities such as submitting or checking in workspaces, the web planning domain can be configured to track these activities. Let's take a look at the web planning domain. First we'll see how to modify a job in an existing folder. From the Home tab, click Folders and Jobs. If you know the application, sub-application, or Control M server, you can filter for these items quickly by selecting the relevant checkbox. If you want to perform a more detailed filter, click Filter and enter the relevant information. We'll filter by application, select an application, and then click Open. A workspace opens with the relevant folders and jobs. By default, the workspace is in read-only mode. When in read-only mode, you can view a job's properties by clicking the job. You have the option to either modify or duplicate the workspace. We'll modify the workspace. For both options, you can enter a new name or use the default name given to the workspace. We'll use the default name. Here you can enter a description for the workspace. If you have a change management system integrated with Control M, you can enter the change ID. In the email notification field, if you enter your email address, you will receive notifications about the status changes of your workspace. Note that you can enter multiple email addresses by separating them with a semicolon. Before making changes, Note that folders might have site standards assigned to them. Jobs in these folders must adhere to the site standard rules of that folder. In this workspace, we'll change one of the scheduling properties for a job. In the Edit tab, let's click Scheduling. We'll change the scheduling properties from Every Day to Monday and Friday by selecting Advanced and clicking Edit. In the Weekdays area, we'll select Monday and Friday and click OK to complete the change. The change is noted in the Changes area. You can view the schedule of the job by clicking the View Schedule icon. In the View Schedule pane, you can choose the year that you want to view. If you are submitting the workspace and need to tell the scheduler additional information, you can include this information in the workspace itself by clicking Notes and then entering the relevant text. When you add a note, a note icon appears on the Jobber folder 
and the information also appears in the bottom pane. When you have finished modifying the workspace, you can either submit the workspace to the scheduler or check it in directly to Control-M. Whether you click Submit or Check In, the workspace is automatically validated and saved. When you check in a workspace, the job definitions are synchronized with the Control-M Job Definitions database. If there is a conflict during synchronization, a message appears and you will be able to choose how to resolve the conflict. Now let's see how you create a new workspace. Click Workspace and then select Add New Workspace. As you did when modifying a workspace, you enter a name for the workspace and fill in the rest of the information as required by your team. For new workspaces, you also select the site standard, the Control-M server, and folder type as instructed by your Control-M team. Add the jobs that you want to the workspace, and change the properties as needed. It can be helpful to save and validate the workspace periodically, especially when working on a large number of jobs. When you validate a workspace, the jobs within the folder are checked to make sure they meet the site standard rules linked with the folder, if relevant. Remember that you can write any comments or questions for the scheduler in the note pane if you are submitting the workspace. When you have finished, click Submit or Check In. If you have checked in the workspace successfully, no further action is required by either you or the scheduler. If you submitted the workspace, the scheduler will take ownership of the workspace in Control-M and review the jobs in the workspace. Let's take a look at what the scheduler sees once you have submitted the workspace. In Control-M, in the unassigned work area, you can see one of the workspaces that we submitted. After opening the workspace, the scheduler takes ownership of the workspace. If everything looks good, the scheduler approves the request and checks it in. If there are questions or issues, the scheduler can write a comment in the notes area and return the request to you. If you enter your email address, you will receive an email notification when the request is approved or returned. Let's go back to the Control-M Web Planning tab and take a look at the information that you can see and options that you can set. As you can see, information about each workspace is displayed in columns. You can choose which columns appear and the order of the columns by clicking the three dots here. In this video, all possible information is visible. You can remove columns from the display by clicking and dragging a title to the available columns area. You can switch the order of the columns by clicking and dragging a title within the visible columns area. If you have many workspaces, you can organize the display by grouping the workspaces according to a specific category, such as status. These are the five possible statuses for a workspace. User works means that you or another developer has saved a workspace but has not yet submitted it to the scheduler or checked it in. Approved means that the scheduler reviewed your workspace and checked it into Control-M. Scheduler works means the workspace has been submitted to the scheduler. Checked in is for a workspace that you checked in to Control-M. And last, returned is for a workspace that you submitted, was reviewed by the scheduler, and then returned to you for additional changes or review. You can set user preferences and other options by clicking the arrow next to your username. If you want more information about the web planning domain, you can click these links. Thank you for watching this video. 